What's up folks? Welcome to Tuesday, back for another Two Minute Tuesday Mass Timber Edition. Today we're going to discuss what does a mass timber building cost. Now big spoiler alert, I'm not going to tell you the answer, at least not in terms of dollars per square foot. The reason for that is, well, it depends. It depends greatly. But what I am going to discuss today is some things that you need to keep in mind and make sure that are being accounted for in your cost estimation in order to make sure that you are costing your building appropriately. We're going to go through this in four steps. All right, the first step is to make sure that you're not comparing structure cost to structure cost. What I mean by this is when you're doing a mass timber building, getting some cost estimates, usually you're comparing those to some other building type maybe steel, concrete, whatever the other material is that you're comparing to. And the big issue here is that what we'll often see, projects will compare cost per square foot of just the structure for a mass timber building versus cost per square foot of the structure of this other building type. And if you just do that, likely you're going to see higher costs for mass timber. What you really need to do is look at holistically what does the building cost per square foot because there are some significant differences. With mass timber, you're generally not going to be installing uh, a significant amount of gypsum board finishes or fire resistant coatings, those types of things, because with mass timber, the structure is the finish, is the fire resistance. It's all inherent in that one product. You're going to cut down on installation of those materials and you're going to cut down on the time associated with installing them. The second piece, make sure you're taking full advantage of mass timber's prefabrication potential. With mass timber, you can coordinate ahead of time where all of your penetrations are going to go for plumbing system, for electrical, for ductwork. All of those items can be prefabricated ahead of time in a 3D building model. That model can be used by a mass timber manufacturer so that when your materials get to site, you're really just putting together a kit of parts. By doing that, you're able to move your subtrades onto the construction site sooner. You're able to compress the overall construction schedule. And of course, if you can understand that and take advantage of that, really implement that into your costing of that building, Reduced construction schedule means reduced time for, for overhead conditions, general conditions, and therefore that should also result in some potential savings or at least provide you with a better apples to apples comparison of the overall cost of that structure. All right, number three for good cost estimating of mass timber buildings, you have to know your supply chain. Really get to know the manufacturers and the suppliers that are providing the materials to you. The reason for that is because not all manufacturers are the same, produce the same products. Mass timber is not a commodity product, and I think you can really use that to your advantage. What that means is that each manufacturer has different capabilities in terms of the species that you're using, the grade of wood that they're using, the, the span of the panel, the length of the panel, the width of the panel, different variations and thicknesses of a say three ply, five ply, lamination thicknesses, and so on. So what you're able to do is know your supplier, know the supply chain, and really use that to your advantage, which really ties into number four, which is design the building efficiently. We've done a two minute Tuesday on this before. I'd recommend you go back and check that out, but really understand what is the most efficient design that you can do for your building while also maximizing the capabilities and efficiencies of the supplier that you're working with. So putting all of those things together, that's how you can start to look at getting accurate cost information for your mass timber project. And from there, I think you can start to see some very cost competitive pricing when compared to other building materials, taking all of those things into account. Happy Tuesday, folks. See you here next week.